Hi and welcome to LCAL, Low Carb Ancestral Living with Pim Johnson. Today's guest is Dr. Bart Kay from Nutrition Science Watchdog and I wanted him to come on today to talk a little bit about how he healed from wet macular degeneration. So welcome to the show, Bart. Pim, thank you for having me. I appreciate the invitation very much. You're welcome. So can you just start with telling us about Around the time when you were diagnosed with wet macular degeneration, how old you were, what was going on in your life at the time, etc. Sure, yes. I was, I think, well, let's work it out from the year. It was 2010, late in 2010. So um, that had me at being 38 at the time. And I went to the optometrist for a routine check, just to check that my prescription was as it should be, etc., as you do every year or two. And the optometrist said, ooh, 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 ah, uh, ooh, um, I'm going to refer you to a specialist because there may be some issues here, a bit of a concern in terms of the eye health situation, all of that. So obviously... I waited out the period of waiting, as you do, and I went to the specialist. It happened to be the best eye specialist in New Zealand um, at that time. Maybe still is, I don't know. And he had a look and said, yes, absolutely, confirmed. That's what we've got. We have wet macular degeneration, usually called age onset macular degeneration, um, basically, the specialist said to me, look, your eyes look to me like the eyes of the average 70 to 75-year-old man. This is a concern. I've never seen this disease in a man as young as you are at the time. Um, and I'm like, well, what's to be done sort of thing? And basically, what he said to me was, um, keep blue light out of your eyes. Uh, don't drink. Don't smoke. Eat a nice, healthy, well-balanced diet, he said. Avoid, you know, too much animal products and stuff, he said, of course. Of course he said that, um, which we all know is bad advice, but that's for another day. And um, and I said, you're fine, but what is, you know, what can be done to to, to ameliorate, to, to, to solve this situation for me? What, you know, what, what do I do? And he said, well, there is no hope, I'm afraid. You are going to go blind. And probably within the next five to seven years, he said. Um, obviously not what I wanted to hear. Terrifying, frightening. Um, but yeah, that's what he said. He said, you have no hope. I'm sorry. There is nothing that can be done. There are some very, very expensive treatments available in the States, he said, and, and other places where you can have some injections directly into your eyes. I said, no, thank you. That that sounds like something I probably would, would pass on if it's all the same, um, given that he's not suggesting that there was anything that they could do that could actually guarantee, you know, solving the situation. Um, $250, thank you, is what he said. Awesome. So that was oh, that thanks. was where I was, I was at at that time, yeah. Um, mm. I mean that diagnosis is that that would that would just scare me to death. So, what was going through your head at the time? Did you start looking for a different solution, or did you get depressed? What, what happened? Yeah, I mean, I'm one of these people that when I'm confronted with an an issue, a challenge, whatever, I I tend to start looking for answers. Um, obviously, there was a bit of thrashing around, as you do. There was a bit of it's not fair, throw your toys a bit, um, a bit of all of that. But after, you know, a few days, once the shock of being told you are going to go blind sinks in, you go, actually, that's not acceptable. And just because a bloke in the medical profession tells me there's no hope, I'm not actually going to believe, I'm going to get a second opinion, a third opinion, whatever else. I'm going to trust my own scientific training, my own ability to search around for something. Um, I'm going to get on with this. So I did. And I searched around and I found a, well, it was serendipitous, actually. It was quite strange because at that, at that time, there was a company that was advertising 
for someone to be a scientifically minded product trainer for a distributor force for this company. They wanted they wanted someone to train their sales force. And the, the product they had was an adult stem cell enhancer, a nutraceutical. Little green pills that were supposedly causing people to release their own adult stem cells into their bloodstream. And those stem cells were floating around in their body until they encountered tissues that were in need of repair or renewal in some way. Binding to those tissues and differentiating into brand new cells of whatever kind that was required, heart cells, eyeball cells. Ah, I thought, aha. And so I checked into it. I applied for the job, actually. I got the job. Um, I went and worked for that company for a while. I started taking the product at that time. So this is uh, December of 2010 was when I started taking the product. I've been taking it since. The product has changed hands. It is now marketed by a completely different company for whom I don't work. Actually, I'm now a distributor instead. Um, and the product has been reformulated several times, improved several times. But what we're basically talking about is an 11 year history taking this particular product. Right. So did you apply for this job pretty much out of desperation or would you have tried the pills anyway? Would you try something different, do you think, if you hadn't found that job? I probably would have tried the product anyway because it made sense to me immediately. Here is a product which is derived from a blue-green cyanobacter that grows in this one particular lake in North America. Similar species are found elsewhere, but not exactly the same. This is the only place in the world that this particular thing grows. It's harvested on a yearly basis. The amount that they harvest out of the lake is generally regrows within 12 to 18 hours, actually, once they've removed it. So it's very sustainable. Um, they have a proprietary process they go through where they clean the thing up, take out any toxins, activate the ingredient in the thing that actually does the magic, and dehydrate it into a powder, put it into little gel capsules, put it in bottles and send it out. Um, so I thought, absolutely, you know, I'll give it a go. And um, long story short, uh, it's now November of 2021. I'm not blind. In fact, my eyesight's better than it was in 2010. My prescription lenses are less powerful. I see better. The black holes that were developing in the middle of my field of view have completely regressed. Now, I'm not saying that's cause and effect because the FDA won't allow me to. Simple as that. Uh, and I also have to make the disclaimer that this particular product is not designed to diagnose, cure, or prevent any specific illness. There you go. Those are the disclaimers made. Nonetheless, N equals one. My story is that I was told by the best eye specialist in New Zealand 11 years ago that about five or six years ago from now, I will be legally blind. He was wrong. Clearly. So can you just walk us through a rough timeline of what happened when you started taking the pills uh, until you started noticing a difference in your eyesight? And at what point did this the, or these black spots actually disappear? Yeah. Okay, so about six months into taking the product, I was standing on the top of a fell in the Lake District in the UK where I had moved to in the interim period between when I started and we were, we were at now six months later. And I was talking to my then wife about something that I could see on the horizon. It just so happened to be a wind farm offshore, basically at the absolute limit of the range of vision due to the curvature of the earth. And I was pointing this out to her and she was looking at me with her mouth open, staring at me. And I said, what, what's wrong with you? What's your problem? And she said, six months ago, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. And I went, oh, yeah. 
Interesting, isn't it? You and forgot. that's kind of the, the first time that I, I did. I forgot about it because obviously what I was told should be happening, I thought was supposed to be five years beyond that. So I hadn't really started to worry about it yet. And I thought, oh, well, this magic stuff may well do the thing, the trick for me. I wasn't expecting a vast improvement in my vision within six months. I was expecting that the product might arrest the slide. So I might not lose my vision entirely. That was my hope. As it turned out, not only was yeah. my vision slide not occurring, it seemed to be getting better. And I've never looked back from there. Things have got much better in terms of my health, not just for my eyesight, but in all sorts of respects. Because these stem cells can and do become anything in your body, except sperm or eggs. It's probably a good thing though, isn't it? Um, yeah, probably. So, just out of interest, what sort of dose were you taking during this time period, the six months that you were talking about? Yes, um, I started at two times one, oh, sorry, two times two capsules per day, so four capsules a day during that first six months or so. After that, my contract with the company ended and I would have had to have paid for the product myself and I wasn't in a financial position to do it, unfortunately. So I cut right back to one or two capsules a day for the next three or four years, actually. And then after that, the product changed hands for the new company and I decided to come on board and become a a marketer of the product in my own right and all this kind of stuff. And so I started taking the product again, probably at two times two capsules a day from memory. Um, there have been periods where I've taken many more than that because up to 16 capsules a day will give you an increase in the amount of stem cells being mobilized. When I've been in some kind of a pickle or I've needed some extra health support, I've, I've used it for that. Um, but mostly... I'm taking four capsules once a day at the moment. Okay. So just to clarify, two capsules is a standard dose. So you actually took double the dose when you yep. were actually regressing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I know that you know the science really well, and that's why I want to ask you a little bit more about it. And how, how does this actually work in your body? I mean, you said it releases more stem cells, but how, how aren't there other products that do that as well? Is this the best one? Are there other things that we can take instead or together with this? Sure. Okay. So in terms of the mechanism, how does it work? Right. There is a chemical found in this blue-green cyanobacter, there is an active ingredient, which is in a class of chemicals called L-selectin ligators. A ligator is something that cuts something. This is a chemical that cuts a protein called L-selectin. And L-selectin is like a rope tied to a balloon, where the balloon is the adult stem cell, and the other end of the rope is tied to a tree which is the structure of your bone marrow. That's where they're stored. When it's time to release an adult stem cell, any L-selectin ligator that comes across that L-selectin in that bone marrow will cut that cord and release that stem cell. So yes, there are a bunch of things, there are a bunch of products that are available that claim to do this. There are a bunch of botanicals that have been shown to do it. Um, absolutely. There are other products available. Is this the best one? Um, it would seem from all anecdotal reports that this is the one with the highest rate of success in terms of um, people reporting great health outcomes coincidental with taking this product for six months or more. Many of the other products available seem to have toxicity issues, which this particular product does not have. Um, yeah, it, it seems to be a pretty good one. Um, I've not had any problem with it in 11 years. I've not heard of anybody else that's had any serious problem with it either. 
all I'm hearing is great stories from people who have experienced fantastic improvements in their health. So uh, my faith is based on my 11-year history of not just myself, but everybody else involved with it as well that I've, that I've spoken to. Um, so that's how it works. What was the other part of the question? Just if there are other products that could aid it work synergistically with this product or if they are sure, other products sure. that do the yep. same thing, basically. Got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there are other products available with various different efficacies, quality, risk of toxic problems, etc. cetera. Um, simple things that you can even do without taking any products can synergize. For example... I don't know if, if many of your viewers are aware that one of the ways you can increase your release of adult stem cells is simply to fast for three days, for example. Then you'll get quite a, a good release of stem cells just from doing that. Um, however, rather than fasting for three days every week, I'd rather just take four little green capsules and have the job done for me, I, I think. So that's that's why I prefer to do it that way. Um, yeah. Um, even things that can be released naturally by your body can cause an increase in the release of these cells. Erythropoietin is one of those. It's produced by your kidneys released into your bloodstream. When that hits the bone marrow, it causes the adult stem cells to be released. Most of these stem cells end up being red blood cells, white blood cells, immune cells, that kind of thing. Um, but the ones that are not used for that purpose are the ones that can bind to tissues in need of repair and and cause those tissues to become repaired. So that's that's a quite an interesting and important point to make, I think, is that a lot of them become blood cells, both white and red ones. And in the society we live in right now, everyone is dead scared of catching any viruses, etc. So would this help building a stronger immune system, would you say? In theory, the answer would be, look, yes, absolutely, when you have excess circulating adult stem cells, they can do all sorts of magic in your body, including they can improve your immune function, for example. I do have to harp back, though, to the required FDA disclaimer here, which says this product is not designed to diagnose, treat, or prevent any particular condition, we are not allowed to say, yes, it'll help you with that. In theory, what I can say to you is adult stem cells absolutely can and do improve immune function, yes. We can also say with peer-reviewed evidence from a published scientific paper that this product does exactly what it says it does, and that is to cause your bone marrow to release adult stem cells that it otherwise would not. Awesome. Can we run out of stem cells when we release more than we should on the Great daily question. basis? Great question. Yeah, the answer to that is no. And the reason for that is because every time that cord is cut by that L-selectin ligator and an adult stem cell is released, as part of that process, that cell actually splits in two, divides into two, a mother cell and a daughter cell, the daughter cell is left behind in the bone marrow tied to the tree and the mother cell is released. There's no way to run out. What happens as we age is that you are genetically programmed to your, your ability to cut that cord goes down. Those cords get bigger, thicker, more robust. You release less and less adult stem cells into your bloodstream naturally every year. It's one of the reasons that you age. So what we're basically saying is this product returns your ability to release those stem cells back to more like what it was when you were probably 18 years of age. Great thing. Awesome. Okay. So is there anything else that you want to say about how this works that you think is important that people know if they are going to make a decision about whether to try it or not to try it, etc.? Yeah, absolutely. So number one, I would suggest that all people – who are anything much more than about 18 years of age would probably benefit greatly from, from trialling this product. 
not a claim, just a, I, I think, you know, based on experience, that's what you can expect. Um, if you're under 18 and have serious health concerns, it'll probably be helpful for you as well. Um, if you have questions about the product, absolutely get, get hold of myself. Um, Pim will put some contact details for me underneath this video here so that you can just click on that and go straight to my email if you want to. Um, I would say that six months or more is what you need for a trial, not six minutes for a result, by the way. So have some patience. Um, yep. The product is available in something like 80 countries and territories around the world, I think, now. It'll be delivered directly to your door. No dramas on that. So that's useful to know. Finally, what I would say is that the other thing you need to understand about adult stem cells of the kind that we're talking about here is not only can they become brand new cells of whatever kind, but also these cells are able to exude these little packages of materials called exosomes, which you've probably heard of in the last little while with people talking about viral exosomes, for example. So an exosome is just a package of RNA, DNA, sometimes wholly formed proteins, whatever is needed. I think of them as little first aid kits in the case of adult stem cells, that these things exude in their tens of thousands every hour until they actually finally do differentiate into an adult cell of whatever kind. And these exosomes are able to tone down inflammation. They are able to um, encourage cancerous cells to destroy themselves, basically, to undergo apoptosis. They are able to calm down any situations that are a problem. So stem cells, while ever their stem cells are actually little magicians, little first aid givers in the body, until they recognize a tissue that's so badly damaged that that cell needs replacing completely, in which case they bind to that cell, cause that cell to kill itself off, and then turn into a new one. Brilliant. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. That sounds like a good insurance to have on hand, and I, hands down, I'm going to admit that I'm taking them as well, but I don't have a, as an amazing success story as you do, so that's why I wanted you to come on here. So sure. we'll put all the contact information for you down in the description and also the website if people want to go there directly and purchase this product. And if you have any questions, don't be scared of Dr. Bart. Just send him an email and I'm sure he will be happy to answer your questions. So thank you so much for coming on today. Absolutely. Be thrilled to. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you for the invite. As I say, appreciate it very much. And uh, we'll, we'll see you around the traps very soon.